Hello everyone, myself Sabri and I welcome you to our channel Solution Bridge Network and one-stop solution for all your power platform tutorials. Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to understand how we can leverage Power Automate to create adaptive cards and post it in Teams. The use case what I have taken here is a simple leave request. So whenever a leave request is submitted, the request gets pre-populated in form of an adaptive card and get sent to the approver in Teams where the approver have the privilege to approve or reject the request directly from Teams. Let me take you to the Power Automate and start creating the flow. I'll go with a new flow. I would like to go with the automated flow. The reason being, whenever a new request is added to this list called leave request in the data site, this flow should get initiated. So let me come back, call it as automated cloud flow. Call the name of the flow as leave request adaptive cards and here I would like to go with the option it's a SharePoint trigger when an item is created and let's click on create I would like to switch back to the old designer so let me toggle it back and say switch without saving here first we need to fill in the site address and the list name so the site name here is the data site. So let me go look for the data site. I'm not able to find it. So what I would like to do, I would like to go out as a custom item, go back to the site, copy the site URL, come back to the flow, paste it in the custom content, and then click on OK. Once after you have pasted the site address, once if you click the list drop down, you will be able to see all the list items available in that specific site. I would like to go with the list leave request from this leave request i would like to create the adaptive card so let me call in the teams connector and in the teams connector we would like to search for an action called adaptive cards here you can say post an adaptive card and wait for response is what we would like to use the reason being this needs an action and that needs to be captured as an output from the adaptive cards so we will go with post an adaptive card and wait for the response the first option what we see here is post as this will be posted as a flow bot that's fine where it wants to be posted in so click the drop down here you see a channel chat with a flow bot or a group chat i would like to go with chat with a flow bot what this does is a new message gets created and you will get the notification and that message separately so message is what we need to customize we will come to that block later and whenever the response is submitted the update message will be displayed to the user so here is the part who needs to be the recipient of this adaptive card here i would like to default it to my id so let me type in my name and take it from there so the actual recipient should be the approver of this leave request to design the message i would like to use an adaptive card designer provided by the microsoft so this is the url it's https colon double slash adaptive cards dot io slash designer i have just given this url in the description for your use once you are in the site you can use this new card where you will be able to create the new card from blank or you can use a json schema to create this card if you scroll down you still have few samples which you can even use to customize it accordingly so i would like to go with a blank card and if you see next what is the host app if you click the drop down you will be seeing multiple items here our host app is microsoft teams and hence we would like to go with microsoft teams it's asking whether you need to go with a light theme or a dark theme i prefer to go with light now let's start customizing our card Cards can be customized using the card elements. So there are few set of containers, the elements and the inputs which we can use to create our cards. So I would like to use a column. So let me drag that column, place it here. And whenever you add a new element here, the card structure gets updated and each card structure has its element properties which we will use to customize. Here, whenever you click this, a new column in this column set gets added here i would like to use only one column so inside this column i would first like to have a text block and call this text block as the leave request approval so let me type in leave approval required 
once after you type in it you can come here to make sure to set the properties in the style i would like to call this as a heading so you see the difference if you want to set the size color and everything you can set it now i would like to go to the column and in the column i would like to set the color so the style i would like to set it as ascent you see a box gets created and similarly i would like to add a fact set fact set is nothing but which has a header and a value and here in the fact one i would like to add requested by this will be the default column name and in the power automate we will be passing this value as a dynamic content so leave approval required and requested by similarly i'll come here and add additional fact sets so my first fact set is leave type the next fact set is leave from i would like to add one more fact set i call it as leave till i'm just pasting this first value 3 so that we can change it in the dynamic content section and i would like to add one more fact add a new fact call it as number of days we can call it as value 4 so we do have four different fact sets if you want to control the spacing you can control it from here i would like to call it as medium so you will have a space between the initial container and the value once after you paste this i would like to add in another column which i call it as leave description so i add a specific text block i would like to hard code this as leave description and i would like to go to the style property and in the weight i would like to make sure to set it as bolder and an additional text box what we can place to capture the leave description that is below and if you scroll up here the text what i would like to call it as the ESCR. so we will be able to understand this whenever we are passing in the dynamic content so if you see here we have leave type leave from leave till number of days and leave description the final option what i would like to add in this card is the action either to approve or reject so if you see in the elements you have something called action set i would like to drag and drop make sure set the spacing to medium and here whenever you select that you have an add an action button select add an action and first i would like to add a submit action which is a button and again, I would like to add an another action called show card. You might be thinking why we should have a submit action and a show card action. Let me explain you that. This button, what we're going to call it as approve. So let me go to the title and call it as approve. And this show card, we will call it as reject. Whenever this request is rejected, we need to ask for the comments. So that is the reason we have used the option show card. So whenever you double click this, there is an empty card gets pre-populated. And here we will be able to ask for additional information. So I would like to add an input text inside this. Call the label as reject reason. I would like to copy this and paste it in the ID reject reason so this will be our output mechanism by which we will be able to capture and if you come down here you see a something called required we will make sure this is required on checking this you see a message comes here validation required input should have an error message so i, I would like to call the error messages this is a required field finally in this adaptive card we will add one more action which we call it as submit action and we would call this as submit you can use the preview mode i think the submit button whatever we have configured is outside this card so whenever you click reject you see a reject reason and this button submit button should be inside this card so let me go to the edit mode double click the card just delete this button select this card again add an action and add the action submit 
select the submit button rename it to submit and here the associated input can be set to automatic so whenever user enters something upon clicking the submit button this gets the information what is being typed here so now let's preview so you see an approve or reject button whenever you click reject button you get the reject reason with an asterisk which is required and whenever you click approve it gets approved automatically you see a pop-up which says approve data so once after you have done everything you can click on copy card payload and here i would like to add one small additional customization so i would like to take it to a notepad paste it so this is the code what we have created so scroll down to the property where you have an approve you see a title called approve and in the action i would like to capture something so i will add like to add enter come here so whenever this button is clicked i would like to capture some data so i'll call it as data and open the curly bracket the action name is status and i would like to call it as approved so let me select this with the comma come down you see this is the reject title we should see the actions go to the actions of the reject it's here so just paste this and change it to rejected now let's copy this go back to the power automate flow and paste it in the message section now it's time for us to configure the dynamic contents so if you scroll the first item what we would like to tag here if you go to the adaptive card which we call it as value one in the requested by section which is the requester name so come down it's the first fax set the title is requested by so just remove the values here scroll up to the dynamic content and here i would like to call the requester display name select that similarly we need to tag the rest of the columns so the leave type again i would like to go to the dynamic content i have the leave type called as category here in my list so it is leave category value next is leave from remove the value from there Go to the dynamic content select leave from and similarly select leave till and number of days leave till and number of days if you scroll down you will have a description so we would like to tag the description here the dynamic contents look out for the description and then tag it so we have tagged the leave category leave from leave till a number of days and we have tagged the description so whenever the action set submit action is clicked the status gets approved and whenever the adaptive cards action reject is captured the reject reason gets captured and the error message says if it is blank then it says this is a required field i would like to save this this is saved let's test the flow and see it in action i would like to manually trigger the flow test now let me go back to the site and let me click plus new item and submit a leave request i would like to request the leave from 28th till 30th so the leave categories of type vacation in the description i would like to say this is a vacation request and let's come down and make sure to tag the number of days and the requester is pradeep so he is a user from my tenant let me tag in pradeep and click on save so now if you go to the power automate flow this flow should start running and you should get an adaptive cards in my team's channel the reason being i am the recipient for this card for now so you see a pop-up so let me click in go to the flow you see the header leave request required sorry you can see the header leave approval required requested by pradeep gupta 
leave type is vacation it's from 28 to 32 days and here the leave description is this is a vacation request first let's approve this once you click on approve you will be seeing the response message whatever you configured on the flow so the message is thank you for your response let me jump back to the power automate you can see the flow ran successfully so let me expand the adaptive cards and if you scroll down you see the status approved it's captured so similarly i would like to test manually i'll test again where i will submit a new request and let's try to reject that let me go to the new item in the leave i would like to select the same date it's from 28 till 30 i will call it as planned leave i will say planned leave request the number of days is two again and the requested here now is sumit let me call it sumit chandra and then let's save now if you go to the flow the flow should again start running and i should get an adaptive cards i've received the card let me click that you see leave approval required it's requested by sumit chandra it's a planned leave of two days and the leave description is planned leave request and now we are going to click reject on clicking reject you see a reject reason you can type in the reason this is rejected if you submit this gets captured just to test it let's cut this command click submit you see this will not get submitted this says an error message that this is a required field so i'd like to paste in the reason and let's get submitted now upon successful submission you will be getting the response message if you go back to the flow the flow will be run successfully you can expand it and if you scroll down you will be seeing the status is rejected with the reject reason this is rejected one additional thing what i would like to do here is whenever this reject is clicked the box whatever is being shown here should be a multi-line text so i would like to tag this and now whenever you copy this card payload and go back to the power automate and paste it the reject message card will be a multi-line text now you can use this dynamic contents and then patch your sharepoint list accordingly by this we come to end of this video if you have any questions or comments please post it in the comment section and we will be happy to help Thanks for watching. Subscribe our channel, hit the like button and press the bell icon for our new video alerts.